heart how much more will god take care of you how much more will god take care of you do you have any idea amen our bible verse for meditation today is taken from the book of matthew the gospel of matthew chapter 6 verse 26 matthew chapter 6 verse 26 listen to the word of god look at the birds of the air for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into bands yet your heavenly father feeds them are you not more value than they amen brethren perched on a tree branch two birds were observing passers by rushing from one place to another looking at their faces but looking at their faces one bird asks the other why are uh, why is this man so full of worries and cares the other bird answered maybe they don't have a heavenly father like we do brother i believe that the lord made birds to tell us that we are of more value than many birds put together in matthew chapter 10 verse 29 jesus said are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin then in luke chapter 12 verse 6 he said are not five sparrows sold for two copper coins if you do the mathematics you will realize that those sparrows are so cheap that you can buy four of them for two copper coins and you get one thrown in for free so you buy four get one free sparrows are common creatures in israel yet not even one of those cheap birds falls to the ground without the father's knowledge not not one of them is forgotten before him so will he forget you who are of more value than all those birds put together do you think god will forget about you who are more than this pet who are more value than those birds put together jesus said look at the birds of the air for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into bands yet your heavenly father feeds the birds of the air how much more will he feed you his pressure how much more will god feed you his precious and beloved child why don't i see the supply then you may ask right the answer is worry doubt and distrust this is why jesus also said therefore do not worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear for your heavenly father knows that you need all those things beloved if your heavenly father cares for cheap common beds and feeds them every day how much more will he care for you his dear precious child let your heart be at rest as you hear him say to you do not fear therefore you are of more value than many sparrows brethren if it matters to you it matters to god in luke chapter 12 verse 6 and 7 which reads are not five sparrows sold for two copper coins and not one of them is forgotten before god but the very hairs of your head are all numbered do not fear therefore you are of more value than many sparrows brethren we have spouses don't we we have spouses we love so much who whom will even promise or say to that till death do as part we have children we love so much we have dear ones we love so much but how many of us know the number of hairs on their head how many of us but god knows the number of hands on your head that is how much he loves you that is how much he cherishes you yeah many christians make the mistake of thinking that god is too busy 
taking care of the big things to be interested in the little problems they are facing are you one of them if it matters to you it matters to god if it bothers you it bothers him it may be your child's bed wetting habit a quarrel with a friend of the small pimple a quarrel with your a friend or a small pimple, pimple on your face no matter how trivial it sounds if it troubles you then god wants to take care of it what is bothering you now what is troubling you god wants to take care of it hand them all over to him god wants to take care of every area of your life even the smallest detail he loves you so much that he knows the number of hairs you have on your head and if your heavenly father knows and is interested in the small details of your life then you don't have to overcome any problem on your own what an opportunity you have you have a savior who wants you to completely surrender and hand over all your problems and challenges to him just sit, sit still and see him fight for you. See him solve all your problems for you. Faith. My friend, your Heavenly Father cares for you in the same way as he lays out his plans for you. You are on his hearts all the time as he carefully considers and makes plans for every aspect of your life. Both big and small in your life and the every and the very thoughts of your and the very thought of you puts a smile on his face the very thought of you puts a smile on his face because he knows that the plans he has for you are plans to bless you jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 so no matter what problems you are facing right now no matter what challenges you are going through right now, you can rest in his love for you. There is no problem that is too is too is too is is insignificant. There is no problem that is too insignificant for him to handle. He is not just God Almighty; he is also your heavenly Father who loves you so much, brethren, brethren. There is no problem of yours that is insignificant to God. If it matters to you, it matters to him. God wants you to hand over all your cares and to his mighty hand. Let go and let God surrender to him, hand over your challenges to him. Let go and let God. As you journey through this week and the days ahead, remember this principle for the week. Let's let go and let God. Let go and let God. So as the challenges are surfacing, as the problem seems unending, as the mountains seem to be growing higher and taller, remember, let go and let God. God will mightily demolish those mountains in front of you. God will definitely shine his light into your darkness. God will definitely supply your needs, all your needs according to his riches in glory through his son jesus christ amen share this video also subscribe to your daily grace inspiration message on my youtube channel if you don't want to miss out on any because there are lots of the my teachings and sermons there which you don't receive on the feeding on jesus platform so subscribe today and invite a friend also to subscribe god bless you remember Let's go, let's go, let's go and let God. Shalom. Stay tuned. June Bones, let's celebrate your birthdays with you on the Feeding on Jesus platform. Bye-bye.